Hi guys, so um, this is our persona and the fan is still blowing despite the engines being switched off. Now, earlier as we were driving around, okay, it's a very, very hot day today, all right? We were driving around and we noticed that the aircon was starting to lose its coolness and we also noticed that the temperature was climbing. So let me just switch the ignition to on. Okay, so usually the temperature gauge shows three bars one, but as we reached home just now, it went as high as five bars. Now it has dropped back to four bars. So I'm just going to sit here, let the engine cool down a little, and uh, head over to a service center it, uh, as soon as possible. So yeah, now opening up the engine bay to let it cool down a bit faster. So you can see the fan is still spinning. All right. Uh, and also earlier on today, right, uh, just as I was driving just now, I noticed that there was more severe knocking coming from the engine. Now, as I mentioned before in my past videos, my Waja has been running on 97 for RON 97 petrol for quite some time because it had a habit of knocking with RON 95. The Persona here has been filled with RON 95 for the past two years, but recently I have noticed that it started to develop knocking characteristics as well. So I've switched this car to 97 also ah, okay the fan just switched off so maybe the engine has cooled back to a lower temperature but yeah i think i'm gonna give it a while then i'm gonna head up to the service center all right so the temperature has cooled down a bit but i've decided not to risk it and i've called the insurance company to send a tow truck yep so two and a half years into ownership persona sits on a flatbed for the first time and on the flat bed she goes. Right, got the car towed here to the service center without incident. Now it's time to find out what went wrong. Hey guys, this is something cool. Check this out. So they have removed the air intake box here and they are performing what's known as bleeding the coolant. Alright guys, so uh, so they have given me back the car and uh, what I was told was that uh, they suspect okay one of the possible causes is that there was there's air trapped inside the radiator so what they've done is they've flushed all the coolant out of the radiator and uh, so to see where to see whether that solved the problem or not. because basically what happens is that when you have air trapped in the radiator that will cause uh, potential overheating and that's what caused the temperature to detect was that's what caused the car to detect a rise in temperature Kill off the air conditioning, okay, disconnect the compressor, that was why the aircon felt warm and yeah, and then after that we saw the temperature gauge go up. So they asked, us, they asked me to uh, to drive around, see any any issues, uh, any issues pop up now. So uh, for this video, we'll continue maybe a few days or a week from now and uh, to see whether any issue popped up or if I'm back here earlier, if the issue repeats itself. Alright guys, so uh, it's been a week since we got the Persona back from the service center and uh, thus far we have covered over more than 100 kilometers, 100 odd kilometers with this car uh, on a daily daily use and no issues, no problems. So I would like to think that the problem is, is whatever that happened was solved. Alright, so to recap, uh, what happened was that we were driving on a hot sunny day and first thing we realized that the air conditioning was no longer blowing out cool air even with cooling set to maximum okay so we switched the air conditioning off and uh, we drove on a bit and after that we realized that going uphill the engine was starting to knock okay so these were two telltale signs uh, later on we switched the air conditioning back on then then it was blowing cold air again so okay we drove on a bit because it was i was carrying my wife and daughter with me right so i wanted to make, make my way home so we got home uh by the time we got home the temperature gauge which usually sh the digital temperature gauge which usually showed three bars uh had went to four bars and five bars so definitely temperature rising inside the engine and uh, what happened later? We, I got, I got, I gave my insurance company a call. They sent a flatbed over to bring my car to the service center. All right. So while, once I was once there, uh, interestingly enough, their equipment 
all right their diagnostic equipment was uh, was undergoing up updates right software updates so they could not plug their their diagnostic tools into my car and thus they had to go through the old-fashioned way of diagnosing the problem and uh, they were looking at various they were they were opening up things are looking at various uh, various uh, possible causes and eventually they suggested it could be air bubbles trapped in the radiator so the remedy for that was to flush the coolant out all right and top in new coolant so in order to clear the air bubble because it is the air bubble inside amongst the coolant flow that potentially that can cause uh, that potentially causes overheating all right so uh, they did that and thus far the car has been driving fine without any issues okay so we uh, so that was solved without any fuss we were in and out of the service center maybe about one hour two hours plus so I was pretty happy uh, but they did tell me that Proton has released a software update for the Persona's uh, engine and transmission control system so that is something that they would have been able to to upload into my car if the if their diagnostic equipment was with them but it wasn't so that's something that I have to wait for my next visit there uh, but I have been told that it smoothens out the engine and transmission operation plus the fact that it uh, it is supposed to solve the knocking problem in the car which apparently they have, they which means that they are aware that these Campro VVT engines have a tendency to knock just as my old the, my old Campro Corsong and Campro IFM that I already have at home, those two are, those two were knocking and have been running on Raw 97 diet for quite some time already. So I'm quite eager to to have the software uploaded into this car and see uh, if there are any improvements. So uh, I would like to ask, call upon you guys, those of you who drive the Iris or the Persona or anything, any of the Proton models with this Campro VVT engine, do hit me up. And let me know if you guys have received the software updates in your engine and transmissions and if if it had improved the behavior of your car or not. Alright, cheers guys.